Hey guys, it's Sarah. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're talking about how to raise your credit score. Before we get started, please like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can be notified as soon as a video is uploaded. Today we're talking about how to raise your credit score and to understand how to raise your credit score, you first have to understand what makes up a credit score. There are five components to a credit score that tells lenders what score you have. Credit scores range anywhere from 300 to 850 points with 850 being a perfect credit score. But if you have an 800 credit score, that's considered exceptional and you really don't need to worry about going any higher to get the same benefits. A credit score is made up of five components and the first component is your payment history. And for the purpose of looking at a perfect credit score at 850 points, you could get up to 298 points just from your credit history. It makes up 35% of your credit score. The category of payment history takes into account whether or not you've made payments consistently on time throughout the history of your credit. It takes into account the size of the problem, the amount of time it took for you to resolve the problem, and then how long ago that issue occurred. Credit history can go back as far as seven to 10 years. The more payment issues you have in your credit history, the lower your credit score. So try to make all your payments on time if you wanna have the highest amount of points you can on your payment history. The second component coming in to make up your credit score is the amount you owe to lenders. This makes up up to 250 points of your credit score if you're aiming for a perfect credit score or 30% of your overall credit score. Credit score formulas assume that borrowers will be continually utilizing the credit that is available to them. Lenders like to see this amount be below 30% of their overall credit availability. Ideally, you want to keep your credit utilization below 10% of the credit available to you on whichever credit card you're using. The third component making up your credit score is the length of your credit history. This is the third largest amount on your credit score. It makes up to 15% of your credit score or 128 points if you're shooting for a perfect score. The longer you have an account open and in good standing, the better. The problem with the length of history credit score is if you open a new credit card, they average it with the old credit card. So if you have one that you've had for 20 years and you open one last month, that'll take your credit history down to only 10 years. The fourth component that makes up your credit score is getting new credit. In other words, if you see a lot of hard inquiries put on your credit score, it means to banks, that maybe something has gone wrong and there's a reason you need to get more credit to pay for things. This accounts for 10% of your credit score and can be up to 85 points on a perfect score. Every time you apply for new credit, they pull your credit score to find out how much you qualify for. This puts out a little ding in your credit score and temporarily drops it. So if you're applying often for more credit cards, it can lower your credit score. When people apply for new credit very frequently, it indicates that they're under a lot of financial pressure. Lenders look at that like you aren't very reliable when it comes to finances. Hard inquiries will only affect your credit score for about the first 12 months. And then after two years, they drop off your credit score completely. Before applying for new credit cards, ask yourself if you plan on making some big purchase in the future. I know in my line of work as a realtor, that's a big thing for people who are buying homes. If you're under contract on a house, you don't want to go and get a credit card and then you won't be able to get the house because you pulled more credit against yourself and the mortgage that you're getting is reliant on your current credit. The fifth component that makes up your credit score is the types of credit you have. This can make up to 85 points on a perfect credit score or up to 10% on your overall credit score. Lenders like to see a good mix on your credit score. Things like a mortgage or student loans, credit cards 
or a car payment. They all add to your credit score and show that you're capable of managing many different types of credit. It makes you more trustworthy in the eyes of lenders. Having a good credit score can really affect everything you get to do in life. If you want to be able to qualify to buy that bigger house at a lower payment, then you need a high credit score. Because if you have a high credit score, you can qualify for a lower interest loan. And the lower the interest on your loan is, the more you can afford to buy. This is basically like free money being given to you because you decided to make your payments on time and do everything that was needed to raise your credit score. I recommend checking your credit score every few weeks or every month just to see where you're at and keep track. You can use free programs like Credit Karma or Credit Sesame. They're not going to be as perfect as your exact FICO score, but they're going to show you about where you're at. When it comes to getting your exact credit score, lenders will pull your credit from all three bureaus, Experian, Equifax, and TransUnion, and they'll take an average of those three credit scores from those three bureaus to say what your credit score is when qualifying for a loan. Okay, so to recap, the five components that make up your credit score are your payment history, which makes up to 35% of your credit score, the amount owed, which makes up to 30% of your credit score, your length of your credit history, which makes up to 15% of your credit score, new credit or hard inquiries, which makes up to 10% of your credit score, and mix of credit or the different types of credit you have, which makes up to the last 10% of your credit score. And if you break down each one and work on each thing at a time, you can raise your credit score over time but you have to be patient. It takes time for things that you do to affect your credit score. So if you're good at making payments on time without delinquencies, no bankruptcies or foreclosures, then you're looking good. Take care guys. See you next time.